with this joint. E J O. E business. Welcome to the channel. I just wanted to do that with my hair. You know, I'm sure you're wondering, like, what's up with him? Why he shake his hair? Or you can be all like, man, this nigga look all wild with his hair. Guess what? I don't even care. All right. Anyways, I'm about to get my hair done anyways. But anyways, that's aside from that. Matter of fact, forget all that. All right. Anyways, let's get to what I'm about to say. All right. We about to watch EFF get an ass kicked up out of the parliament. Okay. Let's see what they're doing, all right? I'm real curious about this, all right? So I'm sure Julius is gonna have some words. I'm just sure Floyd's about to have some words. I guess they about to be pop, pop, pop to make him get kicked out. I don't know, well, not fight, but you know what I mean. So we're gonna do that right there. So about to check out, you know, the EFF right here. How they getting kicked out? My, I think that they're gonna be talking about land. They have to be talking about land, you know, because I know there's something real big with the EFF. So we're about to get into that. I want everybody who is ANC, if you guys are down with ANC, let me know how you guys feel about EFF. Let me know. How do you feel about EFF? So everybody that is down with ANC, let me know how, you know, how you guys feel about them. I'm going to do some videos on the ANC too, because I don't really know anything about them. I don't even know what ANC stands for. All right. But right now we get up into the economic freedom fighters. Yes. I know what EFF is. I let's check this out. All right. Honorable members, this is parliament and the rules of parliament will be applied uh, appropriately, and I'm, I'm going to refer this matter. Uh, Honorable Malema has made two uh, pronouncements in the House, in the podium. The first one is his calling on people to occupy land. Honorable Malema uh, swore to obey by the Constitution and by all other laws. When he says what he says there, uh, I think raises very crucial questions. <laughs> and secondly, the last oh, one. To... I'm weak. Why he just get up, dude? Didn't even say anything. He's still talking. Julius just, man, I had enough. Just started getting up. All right. Anyways, see what he about to say. That was, that was good right there. All right. Treaty, the last must point, occupy land. Honorable you can member. do whatever you want to do. They must occupy land. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing this parliament can do. With or without you, people are going to occupy land. We require no permission from you, from the president, from no one. We don't care. We can do whatever you want to do. Who are you to tell us whether we can occupy land or not? We are going to occupy land. Yes. South Africa, occupy land. That's Thank who you. we are. Honourable members, want to do, speaker, you can withdraw speaker, my membership from this speaker. useless parliament. Honor Honorable. Honorable. Yes, Honourable Member. Deputy Speaker, may I please rise yes. respectfully on a point of order. Yes. The House is either it has rules or it doesn't have rules. It really does not serve any purpose for members to stand up in total violation of the basic rules of conducting a decent discussion in the House. The first rule says, when a presiding officer addresses you, you resume your seat and allow the presiding officer to address you until he finishes his point. We cannot just have members doing as they wish and at the same time be waving the rule book. Okay. It makes a mockery of member. the rules of the House. Thank you, Honorable Member. Honorable members, I think this uh, is... Uh, on a uh, point no, of order, no, Deputy Honorable Speaker. Member, I'm speaking. Please take your seat. I will point you out. Just take your seat. Honorable members, I'm pointing that out because I think it's a serious, contemptuous... Oh, I don't know how everything is over there in South Africa now, but this was in May. This was May 23rd, 2018. 
All right, so this is how old this is. All right, just in case if you don't know. A violation of the rules, but also contempt of the chair, and it has been expressed as such. And I think this matter must be taken up in the appropriate structures. And I do refer to the speaker directly because I think this is unacceptable and we will not accept it. On a point of has, order. Yes, what's your point of order, Honourable Member? What rule are you quoting that forbids the Commander-in-Chief speaking about land occupation in South Africa? We have got absolute freedom of expression in this parliament, as is outlined in the Constitution and the rules of this House. Honourable what Member? rule are you using to forbid any expression? Because that's a point of debate. If you disagree with the occupation of land, why don't you state it yourself from there? Honourable because Member? Because what you're saying is illegal. Honourable but Member? But the one who's illegal are going to subject you to the appropriation, to the process of rules committee and charge you for, for misrepresenting the rules of this house. Why do you undermine the constitution like that? Honourable Member, thank you very much. Oh. Uh, Honourable Member, I've made a ruling and I would like to move us to the next speaker. Honourable the Minister uh, and the Presidency, Planning and Monitoring on a, on a point of order, Deputy Speaker. Honourable Member, uh, this You matter, said you are going to point me, you, and I, I, I respected yes. you. Speak? Yeah. You must always be reminded of your duties. No. You don't you, like peace in any member, way. Honourable Member. Nobody has complained about the speech of the, uh, of the, uh, of the speaker on the podium. From nowhere, you just want to appease and make the white monopoly capital and white races to be happy Honorable about the issue of your stance on land. Honorable Member. Nobody has complained to you, this is uh, not, uh, uh, Honorable Deputy Member. Speaker. This what is, are you trying to achieve? This is neither procedure. That's your problem. You're even replying instead of take making a seat, ruling. You are just the, uh, descending into the take arena. Your, take your seat, Honorable Member. That's all you know. No, Honorable Member, this matter is not on the agenda again. No. Deputy Honourable Speaker. Member, no. Deputy Speaker. No, Honourable Deputy Member. Speak on a point of order. We have said, on Honourable point Member, of order, Deputy Speaker. this matter has been addressed. On a point of order. I have Deputy made a ruling on this matter. No, but I'm raising a point of order. You don't know what I'm going to say. Honourable Member, I've raised... You don't raised know what I'm going to say. You can't say you have ruled on an issue that I'm still going to speak about now. Honourable Member, Let, I'm going let's, to... Let's, let's make a simple illustration to you. The rules of the National Assembly. Only, you can only pass a ruling when another member has called the point of order on what is said there. You are not there to interfere and put sentences and commas on the statements of members of parliament. You have got no, you have got no right like that. You have got no such permission. The courts doesn't allow member, you. So don't, don't allow member, your subjectivity to, to undermine this process of land debate. If you want to express your views, go ahead and express it wherever you are going to express it. But not interfere Honourable with speakers member, when they speak here. Land your, is going to be occupied and we're not apologetic about it. We can say it here in Honourable Parliament member, and we'll continue to say it. Take your seat. Uh, we are all right, hold on. All right, I want to ask you guys this, all right? I see how, you know, how the squad, you know, EFF, how they keep talking and all that. How do you guys feel that... Um, do you guys feel that it's wrong how he's talking over the guy who keeps like like he's kind of like I guess he's like in charge of everything? How do you guys feel about that? You know, do you guys feel like they're in the wrong? Like you know they um like what he should shut up and let them talk or how do you guys feel about that? Let me know. All right, here we go. Back to this. We're not going to proceed on this line. No. Chair. The answer is no. But you don't even know. You can't yes, just the say answer, no to me. No, the answer is no. Those ANC ministers just Hon stand Honourable up and members. say things. This Honourable I, your members. ANC ministers have been co doing corrupt things here. They follow no rules and you want to come and preach to us about rules. We are going to occupy land. Uh, Honourable members, we have uh, dealt with this Chair. matter. We have dealt with this matter, Honourable Chair. members. I don't know what you are debating. Chair. We don't know what you are debating. Chair. Honorable members, all of you take your seats. Chair. Take your seat, honorable members. Chair. I want to speak to you. Take your seats. I want, I want to make a point. No, no, no. Take your seats. That land is going to be occupied by our people. It's going to be occupied. Honorable member, you are being contemptuous on a point of, of the rules, on a point of, order. Uh, of the chair, and of what I have said on this matter. Yeah. Point of order, sir. Honorable Schengen. Sir, I was just asking whether 
the rules don't give you power to, to actually deal with the situation. We really cannot have a Tower of Babel situation here and, and have you, you sir, not use your powers which are enshrined in the rules. I don't think it's right for you not to use your powers which you have. On a point Honourable of order, members. Deputy Speaker. Yes. On a point of order, Deputy no. Speaker. On a no. point of order, Deputy Speaker, no. my hand have been long up and you are ignoring me. You have seen me. My hand have been long up, Deputy Speaker. Honourable members, I have On exhausted. a point of order, Deputy Speaker, I demand to speak here. I'm a member of parliament. I demand to speak here. My okay. hand have been long up and you have been ignoring me. We will occupy unoccupied land, and that is a fact. Let me, let and me... Okay. I like that, man. I like that. I like how she came across. Like, man, you should have been answer. I like that, y'all. She's standing tall right there, ten toes to the ground. I like that, man. Just basically, like, hold on, man. You're supposed to let me talk. All right. I like that. Point you out are to you. cowardice to do it. EFF members must do it. The communities must do it. They must take it. Honorable My member, hand was up. You are ignoring me. Honorable Why member, are you ignoring me? Honorable member, I'm a member of parliament just like you. Honorable member, listen to the chair. No point of order may be raised in response to a considered ruling in terms of sub rule 5. You continue to do that and you are violating the rules. I no honorable member. You can, I have no. Member, no. Bathroom time. I'll be right back. All right, we back. I know I didn't have to say bathroom time, but hey, whatever. You are not going to be allowed. Sir, uh, no, meaning I'll me now. If you insist, honorable no. members, if you yeah, insist on don't come back out. no, it's not going to happen because it is clear you are all and you are not going to be able to send my one of them to bag in the banyama then i now i'm sad who did the mouse were able to bag one and best and got so who come this with the nina and tyson as well i'm going to bag in i'm so let the next honorable members honorable members was it can not about who I only did this because I don't know what she's saying. That's it. Honorable member. Take your, seat. take your seat. Honorable members, we are proceeding now. Deputy Speaker, can we raise a motion uh, of no confidence on you? You get out of the chair, the speaker goes back. You are degenerating the house. Every time you sit there, there must be something wrong with you. Honorable Can you members? please just get out here, Madam Speaker? You were you, you are proper. Ever since Zuma left, you are proper. Point, this honorable one Honorable Speaker. I think, Honorable Members, you are I'll go, violating. I'll go. You must go. <laughs> and I request you that you go, Honorable Members. You must all of go. you. you must all of you. you. Honorable go. Members, you are screaming, all of you, and I see you, and I suggest that you go. I request the uh, Sergeant at Arms to escort members to leave the house. Always wondering if your home is Hold on, Snoop. Yes. 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 I have requested the Sergeant at Arms. Where is she? Yes. Honorable Shivambo. I don't know what they say. Honorable Matthias. Honorable Ntlanguin. Honorable Gadi. Honorable Mflongo. Honorable Mashabela. Yes. Honorable Kaula. Yes. Please leave, honorable members, as requested. If you don't want to, we will request the protection services to assist the sergeant at arms to lead the members out of the house. Don't compensate! Don't compensate! Don't compensate! Don't compensate! 
Yes. You will leave the house gently on your own, members, because it is better that way. Yeah. You can stay on your seat and be preside over the rights of the DA because you want just to and you are impress useless. them. You are useless. That position. I'm I'm not 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 the position. Mics, please go. Please go. Please go. Thank you for your cooperation. Okay. Let me know how you feel about everything. I like how that one lady, how she just stood up right there, how she was like, hold on. Like, man, you say you were going to let me talk. I like that. Let me know how you guys feel about it. All right. I want everybody let me know. All right. If you part of the ANC, if you don't like that, let me know. You know, the EFF squad, you know, y'all believe in them. Let me know. Tell me how y'all feel, all right? We up out of here.